that why CJ has success, I think it, it starts with his mental preparation. Right? He's really dedicated to the process of studying, right? making sure he's prepared when he goes into games. And he's also had success because the guys around him have all gelled well together. They play well together. So uh, it just starts with the mental preparation with him, which he's off the charts. Having more of a Dalton Schultz involvement, a critical veteran in the offense, do you see him a little bit with his increased presence? Well, Dalton has been great, you know, seeing him, you know, come alive in the passing game and really uh, create some explosive plays for us there. You see the mismatch that he has uh, from the tight end position. Uh, it's the reason why we wanted to get Dalton here, knowing you know how effective he can be in a pass game. So it's great to see him showing up that way and the way he's finishing. So very pleased with Dalton and the things that he's done over the past several weeks, and just encouraged to see him continue to get better. Nico, when you're watching Texas Rice Young, obviously you watched a lot of it in college. How do you see him piece it together and how do you Whereas Bryce, with where, where, what has he improved and where has he gotten better? I think it, you see the same guy from college with Bryce. You see a guy who's uh, very smart uh, when it comes to going through the progressions, making the proper reads, proper decisions with the football. You see the accuracy jumps off the tape, right? And he's he's very decisive where he goes with the ball when it's zone coverage, man cut really doesn't matter, right? The accuracy, the decision making is really. Uh, really great to see. He's done a really good job there. If Thielen has had success, is because he's he's a slippery route runner, and they use him all over the field. He'll line at multiple spots, uh, motion him in different areas, and they find a way to get him the ball. Right, and it's whether it's in stack concepts or bunch concepts, they do a good job of moving him around. Right, where he's not on the line of scrimmage, where guys are able to get hands on him. So he has a lot of uh, free access where he's able to utilize his slippery route running ability. Very smart veteran player who you can see him and Bryce, you know, have that connection where Bryce trusts him a lot, goes to him with the ball a lot. And, you know, he's proven that he can make those plays for him. And they made a ton of uh, big explosive plays. With CJ, I think the veterans that we've added have has been, I think, really huge for his development. You start with Robert and what Robert has been able to do in his helping CJ, uh, Rob being in his offense before and understanding it, right? It's I think that's helped CJ a ton, right? Having him, you know, have veterans on the offensive line, right? To have that security up front is really big for a rookie quarterback. Because if not, and he's taking a lot of hits, and he doesn't have that chance to grow and develop. So I think CJ has really you know, benefited from having a veteran offensive line, veteran receivers, and guys who are helping him along. And he doesn't have to shoulder everything himself. And he's done a great job of delivering the ball to everyone, not really locking in on one person. So just all around, collectively, I think we've helped him. We have a good group around him, and guys done a good job of playing together. Where we, we can improve in a lot of areas, a lot of things we can improve on. I think it starts just first down. First of all, we've we got to get better defensively, right, of winning first down. Offensively, we have to be better first down. We had a lot of negative plays, so I would like to see us improve our first down efficiency. Uh, and overall, defensively on third down, we have to find a way to get stops and get off the field as well. So it's a big challenge this week because Carolina's done a really great job over the past four weeks of being a – top team in this league in third down. So we have our hands full there, but I would love to see us improve in those areas. Nico, you're always talking about uh, the physical mentality on defense. Usually you can beat players up in practice, preseason, and at training camp. You can't do it anymore. How do you get <laughs> what you want with the physical mentality without, you know, physical play before games? Yeah, with the physical mentality, John, it's – you know, you have to – it starts with the mindset, right? And I try to establish that each and every day, whether it's me just showing a clip of 
a violent clip of a hit or a violent shed getting off of blocks. It starts with that mindset and continuing to see that picture. Although we can't do it, we can't physically, you know, go as hard and practice now as we are in the season. I think you can. I continuously remind the guys of what it should look like when I see great clips from other teams doing it. Always try to show our guys and highlight that to make sure that this is the style of football I want to see the Texans play. Yeah, it's it starts and first off it starts with the defensive line right and how the defensive line plays and I think our our ends have done a really great job of setting the tone when it comes to uh, performing well in the run game They've done a great job of being violent on the edges and then it's the back end guys the safety is linebackers stepping up right being physical swarming to the ball everybody's starting to pick it up and see how we have to play With our pass rush, I think we can improve just when it comes to the execution of what we're asking guys to do. And all the guys collectively, right, four guys rushing as one, I always say that, but it, it takes all four guys being tied in together when we're running our stunts, our games. It's just everybody being on the same page, being dialed in with the proper footwork, being exactly where they're supposed to be. That's when the sacks will come. That's when the pressures will come. So it's us just executing it better, and that will get better as we continue to go throughout the season. When it comes to the configuration of our defense, there will be multiple guys out there at different times. So whatever is out, is we'll have mix our guys in court, however we see fit. When it comes to we'll take a few more. How much do you guys like factor in against that? Like, so like, like this is a big competition with the immediate chase. With the analysts, you know, how much do you guys use those type of aspects in terms of when it comes to those stats, the deviant, sometimes I don't know what most of that stuff means, right? For me, it's uh, what I'm looking to watch. It, we watch, we used to watch and study the film, right? And schematically, right? What causes this team issues? And we'll try to make sure it ties in. If it's something that ties in with what we do schematically, we'll try to implement that to cause our opponent as many problems as possible, right? It's a lot of different numbers out there. You can dial up stats a lot of different ways, right? But when that ball is kicked off on Sunday, like, are you bringing it physically and are you operating with precision? Offense, defense, special teams, and our 11 guys playing together, that's what truly matters. Coach, uh, you said you were pretty pleased with how, how you guys ran the football in the first half against the Saints. Looking at it during the bye week, what were you most encouraged by when you were evaluating the running game? With the running game, I, I felt like just having a compliment of both backs, I felt like Devin, you know, and – and DP, they did a really good job of getting what they had, right? What was what was available, they took it. They ran the ball hard. They finished the runs. And I think just having that compliment of both guys, it all starts, of course, with the offensive line. I thought they've done a really good job of blocking it. And guys ran the ball hard. They ran the ball well. And we were effective that way. And we have to continue to improve in that run game and as, as much as we can, right? And that's where we want to see ourselves improve in this next game and moving forward. Yep. Yeah, Tank is doing Tank is doing good. He was out practicing today, so Tank is doing well. Hey, Coach, uh, how much pride do you take in the fact that you guys are tied for second play on the differential and you're in the division two as turnover division? And when it comes to the the when it comes to the turnover battle, I'm I'm proud of where we are. Right, first off, starts with the offense protecting the football. We spend a lot of time uh, talking about the ball and how important is it, it is to winning games, and it's it's definitely the game changer. So how many times can we take the ball away defensively and special teams? But most importantly, how many times are we protecting the ball? And our offense has done an outstanding job protecting the ball, and I can't highlight you know Nico enough for what he did when we did you know, have an interception for him to have that mindset. I think that just shows what our team is about for our receiver to have the mindset to go and attack the ball, right, and get it back for us. I think that shows who we are as a team and how important the ball is to us. All right. Thank you, All right. Thank you guys.